Hey everybody, Chris Engelbert with Engelbert Financial Advisors in Allentown, Pennsylvania on Friday, August 7th, 2020. Uh, you can see by my whiteboard today, I'm going to be talking about 529 plans. Reason I bring that up is many uh, college age kids are beginning to go back to school here in the next couple of weeks. And believe it or not, I've been getting some questions from parents about what to do with their 529 plans. Well, obviously you still have to pay tuition whether or not your child goes to a virtual classroom or an in-person classroom. So 529 plans are the place to tap in to pay those bills. Now, I wanted to give you a couple of tips and tricks that we use today with our 529 plans. Um, the first one is make sure that you review the 529 plan and the investments that you're in. So just a quick recap, a 529 plan is a college bound, or you can actually use it now for secondary education, but it's a fund that you can invest money in uh, and it grows tax free. Now it's sponsored by the different states. I did a big review a couple of years ago and we favor a couple of them uh, that have very good investment selections in them. But you have to understand that a 529 plan, you still have to choose the investments that are inside the 529 plan. Now, many 529 plan plans have the investment structured so that when your child is younger, it's more equity oriented or stock oriented. When your child's older, it gets safer. What we strongly recommend to do is that if you only have a year, 18 months before you're gonna be tapping into this money to pay for college tuition, that you lock down the amount in the 529 plan. Uh, many times there's a money market option that you can move your funds to so that you make sure that your child's account is safe so that you have the money there for college. The other thing you gotta do is you have to remember, uh, you really only need one 529 plan if you have multiple children. So for example, if you have three children, we strongly suggest that you open the 529 plan in the name of the oldest child. Then you tell the other kids that they gotta work a little bit harder. Just kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, but no, what ends up happening is a lot of times we see people that have multiple 529 plans, they're very hard to keep track of. You can move the money from one child to another child. So if the oldest child doesn't utilize all the money, you can then use the money for the second child or even the third one. And don't forget, mom and dad, you can actually use the 529 money and if you decide to go back to school as far as to pursue an MBA or, or another career uh, and get some job training. So the 529 plan is a very valuable tool because it's very flexible in what you use. And in fact, we've actually used it in, in a couple of cases for estate planning as well, where if uh, a grandparent uh, is not doing very well and you wanna move money out of their estate to avoid uh, local inheritance taxes or state inheritance taxes, uh, you could actually move the money into a 529 plan uh, and protect it against inheritance taxes. Obviously, before you do something like that, consult with an attorney. But again, I wanted to review what a 529 plan was how they work, some of the tips and tricks. If you have any specific questions, we're here. You can also uh, get a hold of me by downloading my app by texting Chris E C H R I S E to 36260. Or if you get on engelbertfa.com, you'll see our website and you can contact us and we'll answer some more questions on 529 plans. So we hope you have a great weekend and we'll talk to everybody soon.